Good morning, everybody. Welcome to prayer this morning. Come on, let's just worship our King. We love you, Lord. locations and all the churches uh, welcome to 21 days of prayer and fasting this has just been amazing this week has been amazing I don't know about you but God's doing a work in me and uh, it's been awesome and I am excited uh, to be with you uh, today so why don't you high five somebody and find your seats and we'll welcome some churches uh, the very first church to join us for 21 days of prayer Stevens Creek over in Augusta, Pastor Marty, they're still with us. We, they started back when we started the internet. 
uh, and uh, in, in, in Camden First Assembly, Camden, Tennessee, Chapel North, Westerville, Ohio, Abundant Life Fellowship, Leota, Kansas, Bloom Church in Branson, Missouri, Connect Church in Abilene, Texas, and Bend Church of the Nazarene in Bend, Oregon. I love all these West Coast churches that are, are joining us, so welcome to all of you. We're we're so glad that you're here, and, and what an incredible uh, almost two weeks it's been so far. And on Wednesday, Pastor Chris was encouraging us to grow, and, and I, I, I'm just so thankful for people in my life that have encouraged me to grow. And I, I started thinking about that. And for, for you churches that might not know, Pastor Chris was my youth pastor 35 years ago. And it was when I was 17 years old, he grabbed three of us because we could fit in his Honda Accord, uh, three guys, and we drove up into the Rocky Mountains to a little house up in the Rockies, and we did a 24-hour fast. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> but by, by like hour 18 to 20, I, I was seeing the bark on the pine trees in the Rockies thinking it was beef jerky. Like, it, 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 I was just so messed up. Like, it, I, I just couldn't imagine that I would make it to hour 24. And a, a year later, he brought like 20 or 30 of us as students up for a retreat. It's, it's actually where Saturate started, if you want to know, for Highlands. Uh, and, and, and was just challenging us to grow. And now, the 24th fast that I've been a part of here uh, at Church of the Highlands, I, I think of all the times that I would have just not grown. And I am so thankful, Pastor Chris, Miss Tammy, I am so thankful that you have been pushing and pushing and pushing in a life-giving way for all of us to grow. Think of all the churches now being impacted, all the people, all of you at home, wherever you are around the world joining us. Just what a miracle uh, to have a leader that will just continue to say, I know it's hard, but let, let's go, let's go. And, and I'm encouraging you, even, even two weeks in, to give it all you've got and, uh, and, and dive in. And, and it hasn't, that momentum hasn't stopped. I am so excited to let you know that tomorrow morning we have over a thousand high school students at Saturate <laughs> fasting. I mean, come on, high school students. That's awesome. And over 300 of our college students. And they, you guys can still get there. We can add more. Uh, so you can go to the website to get that information. So today we're focused on God's work in me, our minds and our emotions. All right, let's go. Um, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Where are strongholds? Those are in our minds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. Knowledge is in our mind. And we take captive. Everybody say take captive. Every thought to make it obedient to Christ. We have to demolish arguments so de the arguments don't demolish us. It's a battle that we have to fight in, in our mind. In, in the King James, instead of demolish arguments, it says casting down imaginations. I actually love that because that's, that's where I, I feel like sometimes my mind goes the wrong direction. Imagination can be great. You can imagine awesome things, but sometimes my imagination starts running. Like lately, this, the last few days, my imagination has been going to pizza. That's, that's not where it needs to be going. Like it, it, can, it, can, it can run away and we have to cast it down. Stop it. Arrest it. Block it. Cast it down. You've heard it said that, that we're just one step from stupid, right? But what we don't talk about is there were a thousand thoughts to get to the step. So it, it, all, it all started here. And there, and there was a journey of thought that happened long before the step happened. And so we have to, we have to realize that and fight that. Martin Luther said this about our thoughts. You cannot keep the birds from flying over your head, but you can keep them from building a nest in your hair. And that's what our thoughts will do. They'll just start nesting some of those temptations and, and wrongful thinking. Like it, it'll, it'll start to build a nest in our minds. You may not keep the devil from suggesting thoughts, but you can choose not to dwell on them or act on them. So the fight for our life can be won right here. Uh, won or lost in the battle in our mind. Your thoughts will control you, so you have to control your thoughts. And so, number one, take 
my caps, kept my thoughts captive. Like that, that, that's the first thing that we have to do. We have to learn how to make that arrest, <laughs> learn how to make that stop, and learn how to make that tackle. Nope, we're not going to think about that another second. I'm not going to think about pizza another second. I'm not going to think about that, that thing I shouldn't be thinking about another, another second. We, we stop it. We take our thoughts captive. Philippians 4, 6 through 8. The Lord is near. Thank you, Jesus. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace, everybody say peace, (laughs) of God, which transcends all understanding. I like to say the peace that doesn't even make sense. I don't even understand it, but I have peace. Everything around me says I shouldn't, but I do. That's the peace that transcends all understanding. It will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So then what do, you, what, what do you do? You're casting down, you're taking captive, you're, you're, you're arresting those thoughts. But then what, what do you do? Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think. Think about such things. So we arrest the bad thought and we think on the good thought like 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 we we have to do that in our minds so number two think godly things so once once you make that arrest once once you take that thought captive then think godly things and then there's just there's just not enough like those those, you could get that in, in a book on the power of positive thinking but that's not enough because we know that doesn't in the end really break through or really provide freedom. And so the third one is what I'm most excited about. First Corinthians chapter two, verses 10 through 16. The spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God. (laughs) Did you know that God had thoughts? except the Spirit of God. What we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual realities with Spirit-taught words. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolish and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. The person with the Spirit makes judgments about all things, but such a person is not subject merely to human judgments. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have, everybody say it, the mind of Christ. Number three, We have to depend on the Holy Spirit. You will never fully control your thoughts and your emotions without the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the difference maker. It's not just about being positive. It's it's not just about taking it captive. Not just about grabbing hold of of godly things, but it's, it's the power of the Holy Spirit. And I am so thankful for the Holy Spirit when I need him the most, he is right there with me. And that's, that's my prayer for all of us. So every one of us, in whatever area here with our emotions and our mind that we might be struggling or falling short, I, I know the ones that I'm, I'm working on right now. And even preparing this message, it kind of digs that up even more. Like, okay, what do I need to, what do I need to adjust? And, and, and that's, that's where we come to this place where we cannot do it without the Holy Spirit. So I I, want to just pray and ask Jesus, Jesus, help me. Holy Spirit, help me take my thoughts captive. Holy Spirit, help me think on godly things. I am depending on the Holy Spirit for freedom and and peace and, and, and right thinking and having the mind of Christ. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot have the mind of Christ. And so we we depend on the Holy Spirit. Would you stand up with me uh, at every location? And uh, we're going to go into worship. We'll have our prayer time. 
Uh, I would encourage you, let's not forget to be praying for uh, all of our prayer cards that we have at every location. And uh, also prayer resources are available. And, uh, and we're going we're, we're gonna to have an incredible, incredible time of prayer today. Lord Jesus, we just love you so much. Jesus, I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit. God, I pray that, that today as we pray that all of us would, would grow in this area, God, that, that we would learn how to take those, caps thought, those thoughts captive and how to, to think on the right things, God, on godly things, God. And we thank you that your Holy Spirit won't ask us to do it alone, that you will give us the power, that there can be strongholds broken, that we can demolish arguments, that we can cast down imaginations, and we can see freedom in our minds and our emotions. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's worship.
press in, let's pray bold prayers, and we'll meet back at a quarter till.
peace like a river wash over me as I worship your majesty I worship your
the sun to the going down of the sun.
reigns, church. Come on, he reigns. Lift him up right now. Everywhere, let's just lift up Jesus. All hail King Jesus. You reign over everything. Father, we hallow your name. We are so grateful that you sent Jesus to earth to die on a cross, your one and only son. God, we are forever grateful for the cross. Jesus, thank you for the sacrifice that you made for our lives, for our salvation, for our freedom. We thank you that you died and rose again and that you are victorious over sin and death in Jesus' name. And we exalt your mighty name. You are his majesty. You are glorious. You are worthy of all honor and all praise and all glory. God, we lift you up. We thank you. We worship you. We praise you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that you are our sanctifier. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we're so grateful that you sanctify us. We're thankful that you bring peace. Thank you for the peace that passes all understanding, God. We are so grateful that you, you lead us and you guide us, that you are our shepherd, Lord Jesus. And God, we just, we just commit to you right now that we will listen to the voice of the shepherd. We will not listen to the voice of the thief or the enemy in Jesus' name, but we listen to your voice as you, you lead us. And God, we ask the Holy Spirit would help us have even better ears to hear what you're saying and where you are guiding us. Lord God, we, we thank you that you are victorious. You are our banner of victory, God. And God, we pray from a place and a stance and a position of victory, and we are forever grateful, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you are our provider. God, thank you that you will take care of us. If you'll care for the birds of the air, how much more will you care for us? And we are so grateful for that, Lord Jesus. God, we can't say enough. We, we can't put it into words how much we love you and how much we worship you, how much we exalt you and adore you. And God, we pray that you would be magnified in our lives, God, during these 21 days as we push the world away and as we draw near to you, God, I pray that you would get bigger, that you'd be magnified, Lord Jesus, that, that your Holy Spirit would rule and reign in, in our hearts, God. We pray that you you would move in and through us, God, that each one of us, that we would be the walking house of miracles, God, that, that we would be carriers of your, your Holy Spirit, your presence, and your power. And God, we are so grateful for all that you, you do for us and in us, Lord God. We exalt your mighty name, Lord Jesus. We lift you up, Lord God. We glorify you. I wanted to take a, a moment and... and, and obviously just focus on what matters most to god he's so happy we're here praying but there are lost kids out there all over the all over the earth so let's let's pray for the lost all around the world lord god we pray from right where we're standing in the cities that we're in all across america and throughout all of the earth god god we pray over asia and europe and south america and africa and australasia and every every area of the world lord where there are human beings we pray that there would be a mighty move of your spirit god that you would bind the mind bind the mind bind the spirit that blinds the minds of unbelievers god and god we pray that you would loose a spirit of love and adoption around the world god even into the most unreached areas god we pray that your word as it's being translated would get to every tribe tongue and nation every language god and god we pray that your holy spirit would move throughout the earth god god we pray specifically for israel in the middle east god god we pray for the peace in jerusalem god we bind up racism in jesus name god we loose love for all people every nation lord god every language every skin color god that, that there would be love that would rise up lord jesus and peace that would come in and salvation that would take place we bind terrorism god and we loose justice against evil in jesus name and God, we pray to the Lord of the harvest, you are the Lord of the harvest, that you would send out workers into the harvest field, God. God, we lift up that at Highlands College. God, we lift up every student that is there now and those that will come this fall, God, that you would anoint them and empower them to go to the far ends of the earth, Lord, to bring your gospel. God, we pray for your church around the world, from Church of the Highlands to every life-giving, Bible-believing, 
teaching church around the world, God. We pray protection over the persecuted church and pastors and leaders, God. And God, we pray for a new wave of your Holy Spirit around the globe, God. Do a great work as only you can do in Jesus' name. Now let's pray for others' minds and emotions. I'm sure we all know people that are struggling in that area, and let's intercede for them. And we're going to go through some of the scriptures, praying scripture from the prayer first guide and others. And so as I name things and anything stands out, you just dig in and pray in your own way. So God, we just lift up people that we know, God. God, we lift up people that have written prayer cards, Lord Jesus. Anyone dealing with fear, worry, anxiety, frustration, impatience, God. We declare 2 Timothy 1.7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, God. And we pray that over those. God, those that are dealing with guilt and shame and regret and low self-worth, God, we declare Romans 8.1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. God, we pray for those that are grieving, those that are lonely, those that are dealing with sadness or, or rejection, God. And we declare 2 Corinthians 1.3. God, we, we know that you are the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. We pray that you would pour your comfort out to those that need comforted today so that they can comfort others. Lord God, I pray for those that are dealing with anger, hatred, judgmental spirit, envy, or, or even resentment, God. And we declare Ephesians 4.32 over them. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ forgave you. God, we just pray for a, a spirit of forgiveness on your church, on every, every believer, God, that you would pour that out over us. God, those that are dealing with depression or insecurity or suicidal thoughts, God, we, we come against the enemy. We take our stand against the devil. We say, devil, you have no power, right, or authority to take their life in Jesus' name. God, we pray that, that they would be able to take those thoughts captive and think on godly things and depend on your Holy Spirit, God, that they would not take their life, Lord Jesus. We declare Ephesians 2.10 over them. But what they are, God's masterpiece, your masterpiece, and you created them anew in Christ Jesus. And God, we, we pray that over every single person, Lord Jesus. Now let's shift to us, everyone. Let's, let's pray over our own mind and emotions. And let's start with repentance. Where, we, we, where we've gone astray. Lord God, let's, we just repent right now. God, I repent for, for my thought life. I repent for when my emotions have gotten out of control. I repent for, for allowing the wrong things to influence me. God, I, I, I ask that you would forgive me for the things that I've, I've, I've seen and, and I've allowed to be seen, God, that I, I have allowed to be heard, God, the things that are coming in my ears and through my eyes, into my mind and affecting my thoughts and influencing my emotions, God. I repent for all of those things. God, please forgive us for any of those. And God, right now, we renounce the lies of the enemy. And so we renounce it, God. We stop it. We, we block it. We, we acknowledge that those are lies. Those are lies from, from the pit of hell. Those are lies from the enemy of our soul, the thief. And God, we just, we renounce that in Jesus' name. We, we turn away from it in Jesus' name. And then we replace the lie with the truth of God's word. And God, we thank you for your word. And we thank you that there's endless revelation of what you say about us and we thank you for your word over our lives God and as we as we take those thoughts captive and think of godly things God I pray that as we depend on the Holy Spirit God that we would lean into your word Lord God and today we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper thank you that your word says that greater are you that is in us than he that is in the world. God, thank you that the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in us. We are so grateful, Lord God. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Casting down Im imaginations, demolishing arguments, God. We thank you for your word. God, we thank you that we can have the mind of Christ through the power and dependence on the Holy Spirit. God, I thank you that we can be the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, 
through the power of the Holy Spirit. God, we thank you that we don't have to fight these battles in our mind and our emotions alone. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, God. We pray that you would transform our minds and our emotions. God, I pray for freedom for every single person, God. Anything that's a stronghold, God, would it, let it be broken and demolished and cast down in Jesus' name, that they would experience freedom and life and life to the full, God even more abundantly god that you would do greater things that we could ever dream hope or imagine or ask for lord jesus we thank you for the holy spirit thank you for what you're doing in our lives we love you jesus we love you we love you we love you i wanted to take a moment um it's it's no small thing that a thousand high schoolers and 300 college students are going to fast tomorrow and I wanted to pray over them, and I, I thought about having everyone that's going to raise their hands, but I was like, we have all these churches. If you're a junior high, high school, or college student, you can do a fast tomorrow with us wherever you are, and we want to pray for you. So junior high, high school, college, lift up your hands, and we're just going to pray over this uh, generation of students. God, we, we stretch out our hands to those that are around us. God, I thank you for hundreds of young people that are even here at Grant's Mill, God, at every location and every church. God, we thank you that every single one of them is a masterpiece that you have given them divine purpose god that that you created them you pour talent and ability calling and gifting into them lord god so we pray for a mighty move of the holy spirit in this next generation god pour into them lord jesus god for those that'll be fasting god i pray that you would draw close to them lord jesus god i i pray for breakthroughs in this next generation god i pray that some of them will will receive their calling in jesus name lord god that they would hear your voice for the first time lord jesus god i pray all throughout the 21 days that you would move in this generation pour out your spirit living god and touch our students in jesus name we thank you lord god for your anointing and your power on their lives god and God, I thank you for every person at every location. God, I pray that you would bless them, that you would give them a great day today, God. And God, we are just so grateful for what you're doing and that you would allow us to be a part of it. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Give God praise, everybody. Not just for today, but we get to sleep in tomorrow. See you at 9 a.m. Central. <laughs>